Okay, so Draymond Green has been an advocate for the WNBA for quite some time now, man, and he has been speaking out against some of the issues and what he thinks is wrong with the WNBA. And he had this conversation with LeBron James on his show, The Shop. And I would like to show a clip of Draymond Green speaking with the WNBA legend, Lisa Leslie, man. So with that being said, let's check out this clip right here. Here's the audio. We're, we're what, 26 years young, so it's not like we're, we're comparing ourselves to the NBA, but I do feel like the pay gap would be something that, you know, we could just take a donation around the NBA, maybe. Maybe maybe one night y'all don't go to the casinos. I, I have something on okay. this, though, because it pisses me off. It pisses me off because I don't think there's anyone in America that supports the WNBA more than NBA players. Like, 100%. The NBA players support the WNBA, like... The most. More than we probably support the fucking NBA. And it bothers me. And as we can hear in the audio clip, Lisa Leslie didn't have any issues with Draymond Green voicing his opinion because she's actually a strong advocate for the WNBA and trying to figure out some of the issues for the WNBA so these women can continue to play and make money. I ran across this channel, Blacktop Buckets. His video popped up about Malika Andrews and the WNBA, and he was highlighting what Draymond Green had to say again about the WNBA. He was having this conversation again. And um, I would like to play the video clip that he had on his channel. So with that being said, let's check it out right here. Here's the video. I'm really tired of seeing them complain about the lack of pay because they're doing themselves a disservice by just complaining. They're not and just complaining. Huh? They're, they're not just complaining, really. But they are because they're not laying out steps that they can take to change that because the people that can change it they're just going to continue to say, well, the revenue isn't there. The revenue isn't there. So if you don't bring in the revenue, we can't up your pay. Okay, so as we can see, Draymond Green, his opinion, pretty much it really didn't change, you know? Like, he's tired of the complainer, right? And he wants the WNBA and these women to figure out some of these issues because he's sick and tired of the narrative, oh, the NBA players need to donate their money. It's not really getting down to a solution of what, we can do to help the main topic of this video is about malika andrews because like i was saying look at how lisa leslie was having the conversation with draymond green and then you got malika andrews she's touching on this topic and she's pretty much trying to be a feminist about the topic and she's trying to shut down draymond green's opinion because he's a man she pretty much was trying to only advocate for the white women in the WNBA that needs to make more money so with that being said man Let's check out this clip of what Malika Andrews had to say about Draymond Green's opinion about the WNBA. Here's the video. And before I highlight the video, guys, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's check out the clip of Malika Andrews. Here's the video. I think what I'm feeling is a lot of miseducation and ignorance. Well, here's the thing. I I'm not going to pretend that I know Draymond incredibly well, but in the conversations that we have had, I believe that he genuinely wants to see change. I think he is coming from a good place. He just said that at the end of the day, he and Megan Rapino want the same thing. But inherently, the problem here, George, is that we're sitting up here talking about Megan Rapino versus Draymond Green, and that's taking away from what we should be talking about, which is equal pay. Here's the thing. This cannot be done. It is not on the oppressed to fix oppression. It has to be done with allyship, which is where someone like Draymond Green, a man, comes into a space that affects predominantly women. But the thing about being an ally is when you come into that space, you should be listening first, not talking first, because there is no one who understands better what these women are going through than these women. If you come into us into this space and say, okay, I'm going to listen, I'm going to take this feedback of what you've been living and what you've been experiencing, and then I'm going to then talk and then offer my ideas, perhaps even away from Twitter, because then it comes off like you're talking at somebody who's been going going through something that's incredibly difficult for years and years and years, then maybe we can get to the point where women aren't making 80 cents to every dollar that a man makes. And by the way, that's white women. Okay, so like I was saying earlier in today's video, 
you see how Malika Andrews was pretty much trying to shut down Draymond Green's opinion because he's a man and she pretty much just thinks Draymond Green should not talk about these issues. And you see how she tried to throw in that slick comment like, oh yeah, uh, the white women uh, make only 1%. Like, why do you have to say that? Just say all women, you know, like, but we all know why Malika Andrews had to emphasize only the white women make a certain amount in the WNBA instead of just focusing on all women in the WNBA, right? Again, Malika Andrews just being Malika Andrews. I want you guys to get in the comment section down below. How do y'all feel about Draymond Green's opinion? And how do y'all feel about what Malika Andrews had to say? Hit that like button if you made this part in the video. I really do appreciate that. Hit that subscribe button as well if you're new to my channel. Catch you guys in the next video. And we out, guys. Peace.